Hello friends, I am from Netsol Water Solutions, a leading platform that shares wide range of information regarding the treatment of drinking water, waste water and reuse of waste water and sewage management. In today's information session, I am going to discuss about common problems in RO plants. As we all are aware that reverse osmosis system is an ideal and healthy way to achieve a level of water purity that makes it fit for drinking and cooking purposes as as well as for consumption of the human beings as compared to general tap water however after some years of constant use the ro system can wears down and some faults can arise there are five common problem have you ever notice that no if yes then there must be these problems the first common problem is a noisy faucet or drain this is the most common problems in that an ro system can arise generally this is caused when you are installing a new system after you have changed the filter cartridges the air gets pushed out there is no need to worry as the noise will gradually reduce in a week the second common problem is leakage in faucet if the system parts are fitted loosely there will be some amount of leakage also try to locate where the leakage is originating from sometimes it comes from the bottom of the faucet system third common problem is fall order or the bad taste of water Stagnant water is a source of the fall order. Also, depleted filters and worn out membranes are the major reasons why the water in your house tastes bad. You simply need to replace the depleted components and the water will start tasting good again. The fourth common problem is a system that runs without stopping. This happens if the shut off valve doesn't close properly or the silk wave is broken. Wrong installation of a membrane also makes the system continue to run. In order to stop the continuous flow of water, you need to measure the pressure in the storage tank. Ideally, the pressure needs to be 35 to 40 psi. If the check valve is broken, simply replace it. The fifth and the last common problem is the water flows slower than the usual. Again, this problem is related to the pressure and more often than not the volume of water is less you need to check if the water pressure in the ro tank is optimal if not then raise the value to 6 to 8 psi carefully by using a pressure gauge sometimes the bladder inside the tank cannot hold the pressure and then the whole tank must be replaced i think by now you have learned how to fix your ro system and i hope that you are able to troubleshoot whenever the times come if you do not want to go through the painstaking process of fixing your ro system yourself then feel free to contact to netsel water solutions where the ro experts are here for your rescue and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you